Kia ora, welcome back, I'm the Kiwi Coder and in this video I'm going to show you how you can um, attach your mesh to your armature. So you can see here when I um, when I move the bones the mesh is actually moving uh, alongside the bones, like moving along with them. Um, same for the legs um, and yeah this is the second video in a short series I'm doing on how to animate a simple character in Blender. Um, so this step is, yeah, is uh, focused on skinning the mesh to the uh, the armature um, and because the the mesh is quite simple um, I'm actually going to use a fairly simple technique to skin this character where you, uh, you don't need to go through the painful process of trying to weight paint um, your mesh which can take a long time so yeah I'm just going to show you some uh, some really simple sort of techniques how you can easily skin a uh, simple character like this and uh, there is a little bit of weight painting and stuff um, that will do on the toes and also on the um, the torso here, but for the most part, uh, just portions of the mesh are just attached wholly to um, to each individual bone of the skeleton. Cool. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this video follows on from a previous video I've made, the uh, creating an armature for your character in Blender 2.9. So I've got a character here, and this character has got a mesh and an armature attached to it. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is um, basically attach the mesh to the armature or the skeleton. Um, right now, like when I rotate these bones, um, the mesh doesn't rotate uh, with it. So um, the way that this works is basically using skinning. Um, there are like pretty simple ways to do it where you can uh, click the, if you go into object mode, click the mesh, then shift click the armature, hit control P. Um, you can actually go armature deform with automatic weights. I find I don't really have much success with this. Like if I now go to pose mode, it's sort of, I don't know, it kind of works. It gets you part of the way, um, but it's, I don't know, it, like it hasn't figured out that this part of the arm is part of this mesh and it just seems a little bit crazy to me. So um, what I'm gonna do is just undo all of that and show you a different way to set it up. Uh, let me just check that everything is, um, Everything is actually cleared. If I just rotate this, no, it's still not cleared. I think maybe now. Cool, so yeah. Um, instead of doing the automatic weights, what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, select the mesh, shift select the armature, and I'm gonna do armature deform with empty groups. And all this does is basically creates the vertex groups. Um, this is how Blender sort of does its skinning. It creates vertex groups, which you then assign vertices into, and uh, each group name needs to match the name of the bone, and that will mean when that bone is deformed, it will then uh, basically translate all the uh, vertices within that vertex group um, according to the, the weights. So vertices can actually belong to multiple vertex groups, and they're sort of assigned a weight um, to whatever whatever group they they belong to. So, yeah, you can use weight painting and stuff to assign the vertices into vertex groups, but um, just because this mesh is so simple, we don't actually need to do weight painting. Um, and instead, uh, I'm just going to select the mesh and go into edit mode. Uh, let me just turn the shading off as well. And I'm going to go into wireframe mode just so it's easier to select these vertices. And what I'm going to do, I'll start with the head, is just uh, select the whole head um, and then what I would want to do is basically find the vertex group and I can just hit assign and that will assign all of these vertices into that vertex group which will then correspond to the, the bone of the skeleton. Except um, I've got a couple of extra vertices here selected uh, from the neck which I don't want so I can hold down control and box select those vertices and now I have just the head selected so I can just go to the vertex groups type head now hit assign now if I come back out to object mode select the armature select pose mode now if I, um, if I rotate the, the head, you can actually see the mesh is now attached to that bone, which is awesome. Um, so that didn't involve any weight painting and it was much easier, in my opinion, uh, for the simple mesh. It's a good starting point, I think. Um, so the next step I'm going to do is just basically yeah, carry on with this approach where you select the mesh, go to edit mode, 
um, find the vertices that I want so I'll do the neck next and I can select um, multiple vertices by holding down shift and just doing a box select around them and that is now selected because we're in wireframe it selects the vertices on the other side of the mesh as well um, so now I just uh, go into the vertex groups tab select neck and hit assign and cool now I've assigned the neck to the neck bone so the torso is it's a little bit more complicated because there are so many vertices um, so there's a few ways to do it um, one way is you can select go into face mode and if I come out of uh, wireframe now when I select these uh, these faces it's actually really easy to just go and select all these faces manually and I could then uh, just you know find the the spine bone um, which it would be assigned to which I think is this bone here um, and hit assign that would be one way to do it um, but another way is actually if you just select a face and then hit control plus um, Blender will then select all of the adjacent faces and if I hit control plus again it just basically recurses outwards and I can keep hitting it until I've captured all of the connected faces and then I could yeah I think in this case I'll just assign them to spine 2. So that is another way to, to assign uh, vertices to a particular vertex group um, and the last way which is actually my favorite um, if I select a face and hit control L um, so we're doing the arm we're doing this bone now um, I can actually just a uh, assign all of those uh, all of those vertices to yeah basically hitting control L just selects all of the vertices that were kind of it, I don't know blender somehow knows that that's that's a whole thing so I need to also assign the arm so I can shift select one of those faces hit control L and now I've got both the joint and the arm and I can assign that to the shoulder like so and if I just carry on this process um, can just uh, I can actually select two objects at once with a single face hit control L and that will select all of them and now if I assign that to elbow L like that cool and same for the hand um, and assign them like that cool so that is within just yeah doesn't doesn't take too long um, but that is basically the whole arm done the head the neck um, and the torso so if we just carry on uh, do the waist next um, so this is going to be spine 01 um, which is this bone here I just kind of know that that's that is sort of one thing you have to know with this approach is what the names of the bones that you want to assign the vertices to um, rather than just sort of clicking on the bones but um, yeah so the next way uh, next part is just doing the pelvis so select the pelvis uh, find the hips bone click the hips click assign um, and yeah just carry on with this so this one is going to be called upper leg left boom like that so now I do the knee and the sort of thigh or the shin bone and this is I think it's called lower leg left and finally the foot which I'll do like that uh, what's it called I think it's called ankle cool so yeah, that is um, that's basically everything done except uh, the right hand side, which I'll just do quickly now. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, so now if I go to object mode, select the armature, go to pose mode, I can actually test everything out. Um, so if I yeah move move these hands. <laughs> It's like a gorilla, uh, everything is working. So yeah, um, you'll notice these splits here. Um, that is intentional just because I really <laughs> am not sort of focusing on a perfect model or anything at the moment. Um, but yeah, feel free to fix that up in your own time. Um, the way to sort of fix that would be, yeah, having, you know, when that happens, you would want these vertices to sort of stretch up and stay connected so you'd want to assign some kind of influence of these vertices to to this bone cool so um, just check the legs 
Okay, so everything works um, except the the toe bone uh, that's not attached to anything. So for this, we are going to use weight painting, and I'm just going to go to object mode, select the mesh. Now, uh, shift click the rig. Uh, sorry, it's the other way around. So select the rig, shift click the mesh. Yeah, because the mesh is what you want to weight paint, so that should be selected last. And now I can control click on a bone. Um, one option I do have selected, which I find is better, is uh, under here, I've got um, the zero weights set to active. If I have it set to none, then it shows me all of the, the sort of, um, the zero weight is also blue, but it's none of these vertices are assigned to this bone so I find this mode is actually a lot better I can actually I, because everything is black it means that there are no vertices assigned to this bone it's uh it's just a little bit more intuitive for me um, so now I just want to weight paint so I'm just gonna assign the weight of one to these these are uh, four uh, vertices here and I'm gonna assign a weight of 0.5 to these middle vertices um, on the foot like this and cool so now when I move this uh, this this bone the um, the toe actually deforms with it um, it's probably better if I just uh, constrain it to the x-axis like this you'll notice that there is some squashing and that is due to this bone here so if I click this um, you can see that all the vertices are control click to select the bone you can see all the vertices are red which means that there is still some influence on these um, these toe vertices from this uh, this bone here so we just need to remove that influence by setting the weight to 0.0, .0 uh, clicking the vertices and I set 0.5 for the toe bone so I'm gonna set 0.5 for the foot bone as well just to kind of make it these um, these vertices are sort of like half influenced by by each other I suppose <coughs> excuse me um, so yeah now if I rotate that um, yeah it looks it doesn't like stretch so much um, but <laughs> not that it really matters with this type of mesh um, cool yeah so actually I think yeah, it hasn't done the other side unfortunately because I, I forgot to turn on. Um, oh, there's a there's a mirror setting symmetry, is it? Yeah. Sorry, I um I got this wrong. So it's not the symmetry setting. It is um, the options setting under X mirror. This is what you want to have selected. Um, symmetry means it will. Um, like if I white paint on this side, uh, like this, or what, what it's doing is it's actually assigning these vertices to this bone, which is definitely not what you want. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are cases for that, but yeah, turn symmetry off, turn X mirror on, and then now if I white paint on this side, uh, you can see that it's been reflected on the other side as well. So now if I go to 0.5, uh, just white paint these again um, like this I think I got them all now if I click this side yeah I forgot I missed one but yeah these two are now looking the same the toe bone um, again if I just select the toe bone on this side I could also do it on the other side oh, crap doesn't really matter but um, yeah so now if I hit that you can see it's painted across the other side um, select one you know paint this toe again I don't know why I'm doing it mirrored but I think it's just to illustrate the point <laughs> cool I think I missed that one sweet so now these are the same and if I were to like rotate this bone on the x-axis you can see that both both our feet are now working um, cool so that is uh, that's basically it for the toes I think the last bone that I wanted to do was um, just focus on the neck and the spine so if I if we rotate that one basically the top of the torso is not working um, so yeah basically a similar approach um, probably yeah for this for the torso bone assign one uh, to the bottom vertices um, like 0 0.5 to the middle vertices here um, this one this one this one this one 
this one and that one there. Yeah, so one at the bottom, 0.5 in the middle, and then I'll set it to 0.0, .0 on top. I think there are some keyboard shortcuts like F, I think, what is F changing? F, F changes the radius of the brush and Shift F controls the strength, which is not what I want. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to control the, the weight uh, via keyboard shortcut, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, this is where it can get a little bit tricky. It's like, yeah, this is the, the problem with weight painting is you really have to actually go and find the vertices. Sometimes you really have to hunt for them to actually be able to deselect them, which is uh, why yeah, going into the mesh mode and going to edit and just selecting the vertices manually and removing them from groups is uh, can be a really much faster way to clean up your mesh. Sweet, so that's that spine bone and basically want to do the opposite for this uh, spine 3 is um, set the weight to 1.0 at the top so all of these uh, top vertices, not the neck, um, so these top vertices here and like that, cool and then um, 0.5 on the middle Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, cool. And uh, that is, that should be it. Cool. So now if we just come out of that before I muck anything up too more, select the armature, go to pose mode, go to pose mode again. Uh, now, yeah, if we move that, um, you can see that it's, uh, it's, yeah, basically um, half the influence is, is taken from the, this bone here and half the influence is taken from this one which uh, yeah looks I think it is it's okay basically I'm not too worried on the the mesh uh, sort of skinning part but yeah I think that's that's basically it for the um, the skinning uh, sort of section of this and now we have our basic sort of armature and skinning set up uh, ready the next step will be um, rigging this so we are in a position where we can start animating it's quite a lot of work that we need to do before we can actually animate this character but uh we are getting there slowly but surely um yeah just make sure all the everything's kind of working as you expect you want to get all this right before you even start animating um, otherwise it really will cause you issues down the line like that is <laughs> that is the problem i don't know what's going on there uh if we just go to object mode <laughs> Um, it's funny, it's like literally the last bone I was going to check. So if I go here, uh, what is it? Object mode, select the armature, select the mesh, go to weight paint, click a bone, and there's probably still some, yeah, this toe bone is still, uh, it's still got these weights selected. I forgot to remove them. So if I just, uh, I think I probably want to turn off X mirror now, I'm not sure. That, that came from the symmetry mode I was using before. Cool. Um, yeah, that should be good. So, one last test. Um, cool, that looks good. So that's it for this tutorial then. Uh, the next one will be on IK and rigging. Um, so if you want to Get, receive those videos please hit subscribe uh, hit the bell notification icon and if you've enjoyed this video uh, hit the like button and make sure to share it with your friends cool thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video Kakite.